I live at Wayne Township residence. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on issue 21, Fire Law. I am Trustee Andrew Jacobs. I'm Trustee Diana Coleman. I'm Trustee Bradley Hoffman. And I'm Fire Chief Jason Beckett. The purpose of this video is to simplify the facts and to discuss the fire levy so you can understand what it's all about. So next we want to bring in the Chief as well. We want to talk about some of the equipment that we have purchased. And some of that purchase of the equipment was back from 2011 when the last fire levy was passed. So we have an ambulance over to my left which was purchased in 2019. We have the current one that's behind the chief that you can see right here, which is purchased in 22. We have our uh, beautiful fire truck as well. That was purchased in 2023. So as you can see, we have some good equipment, but we've used the money and tried to spend it wisely in order to get good quality service out to the residents of our township. Next, we're talking about the uh, striker pots. These were a recent purchase uh, a couple of years back, I would say. That we purchased two of them, and I wanted to get the chief to give us a little bit of detail on, on how he uses it and what it contains. What our power load cots are used for is it takes the lifting and the wear and tear on our personnel's back. Um, it's got an electric motor and lifts up to 700 pounds, and then it will automatically load the patient into the cot for us. Whereas previous years, we had to squat down and bend and lift everything manually. With our striker power load cots, a lot of that is taken out and it's proven to reduce uh, workers' comp injury significantly. Pick it up and show the residents how it works. And again, these are some of the purchases that we have chosen as a township and as trustees to be able to provide that good quality service to our residents when you guys need us to call us. Next, we'd like to talk about the five-year additional 2.0 mil levy that is based off your appraised true value of your 2023 evaluation. That equates out to $70 per $100,000. So for example, if your property valuation in 2023 was $300,000, that would be $210 per year or 58 cents per day. So next, what we want to talk about is get a little bit more detail about the five-year, two mil additional levy that we were talking about earlier. This is going to bring in a total of $708,000, which will be looking at staffing for the fire and EMS. This will be on top of what we're already talking about with our part-time volunteers. So I'm going to turn it over to the Chief to talk a little bit more detail about that. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Uh, this money will be used for staffing and for the hiring of six full-time firefighter paramedics that will give us a minimum of two people on station 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, providing ALS emergency care and cross-trained as firefighters. So we will have a minimum of two every day that will be augmented by our part-time and volunteer staff. Um, so yeah, so basically what we're talking about, like a good example is tonight, we were here getting ready to tape and, and talk about the levy and explain to us what happened with the call that just came in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we had a call tonight as we were getting ready to do this. Um, we had one person on station, um, an EMS run came in, and rather than having a second person here that we could just jump in and go and um, get to that patient sooner, we, we have to wait for a volunteer to show up coming from home. So with this full-time staffing, with the minimum um, of two people here, we can immediately get in that truck and respond to provide care faster. It's a great example. Also, we wanted to show you too that a lot of the residents are going to receive our magazine that's coming out. 
um, in there you can see where it shows talks about the fire levy a little bit more details for you so you could be able to, to really see and understand if you do have any questions you can always email any of the trustees or even our administrator Gus Edwards or even the fire chief if you have any questions or concerns or issues like that so we could be able to address those and be able to, to answer questions of the residents So one thing that we're going to do and have started the process of is we're applying for FEMA SAFER grant, Staffing for Adequate Fire and Emergency Response. That grant allows us to fully fund however many positions we ask for for three years. After those three years, the department and township would be responsible for picking up those salaries. Thanks. So that's really good news about that SAFER grant application. I'm hoping we can get that and it'll be good. but. Isn't there something we do with our drugs that we keep on the ambulance that saves us a lot of money? We do. We participate in the Greater Miami Valley EMS Council's Drug Exchange Program, which really gives us a significant cost savings um, by participating in that program. If we were to buy and store and manage all of our own drugs and stuff that we give to a patient, we would be looking at a significant cost of roughly probably $80,000 a year. Whereas with this program, it only costs us all in about a thousand dollars a year. So you, every time you take a patient in, if they use drugs, then yeah, every time we uh, we use any kind of drug on a patient, um, we simply take that bag, take it to the ER, exchange out with them. They give us a new bag. We write the serial numbers down we bring it back with us. We don't have to worry about inventory. Right. Um, the only thing we do worry about is we check the bags every day and make sure that um, the drugs are within their expiration. Okay, great. So from all the trustees here and the fire chief, we'd like to say thank you very much for taking your time out of your busy day to review our videos. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.